Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Thought I would do a market review here today. Nice, beautiful, bullish market here following through. Target for the SPY is 196, and actually, I think we're almost got there. Yeah, 10 cents away. And I did feel the market would have a nice, strong, big uh, green bar one day this week. I actually don't think today is it. It's looking like it could try to do it this today. It's early enough. It's 1130. Uh, but I think we're going to close the day with a, a medium body. Green body, medium or small. I don't think today is going to be the monster green day. But who knows? It could. Anything's possible. Beautiful buying is coming into this market. I called this market very well. And it is rallying. And it is higher. And actually, I saw it here in the charts this morning that the target for the SPY is 200 It's $200. $200. And my, my call is that we get there, and we get there in the next week. So whenever that happens, again, I don't know. I get up every morning and look at the gaps. But I did talk about this gap in the market today. Let's, In fact, let's go over it. <clears throat> and I said it was very bullish. Market actually was gapping down a little bit this morning. But I called it neutral. It was a neutral gap in the market, which was bullish. That's how I read it. It was a good read in the market. The market's been rallying ever since this morning. It came in a very little bit here, very aggressively. Early in the morning, you could have bought the market, and uh, it was on the one-minute chart. Here, let's go here. And here was the buy. Right in here, immediately. You could have bought the market long this morning. If you did, you're in it. That was the low of the day in the market. Right into the open. Okay. A lot of people get confused because they're not sure what to do when the market looks like this. But it's a long. So what do you do when you play something bullishly? Well, I only play gaps, but if I play gaps, which is what I do, and if I like to go long bullish gaps, which I prefer shorts, but I, I would take the entries on the bullish gaps. I would just take the entries on the bullish gaps, and I'd look at the gap and read the gap, and that's what I've been doing to determine what to do. So you could have gone long any one of these gaps in here in the SPY. They are all continuation gaps that are falling through higher. People keep making attempts to think that this market is going to make a top or come in short, but you can see here how it's a nice rally and it's following through. And we will get to 200. I thought the market would be bullish all year. I think the market is going to hit some, some big numbers here this year that are unexpected for people. And again, it's so, so important not to try to determine when you think a move is over. There was no reason to think the move in the market was over here back in the earlier this year in February, March. The market was definitely, definitely higher. Could have come in more before it ran higher, but didn't want to do it. Again, another show of strength, a tower of strength that's happening here. So when I read the gap today, I thought it was bullish. How we close here, I don't know exactly, but we will close with a green body. If we end up having a monster green body today, we could gap right up to 200 overnight tonight and tomorrow. However, I think that we're not going to hit that 200 number till Wednesday, Thursday this week. It's going to be before Friday, I think. You know, it's I, I day trade, so I get up and I read things in live time in the pre-market and the gaps into the open of how they trade, and I see things in live time. And I'm good at reading price in live time, which is how I've called this very well. So, it, you know, I, I can't really predict too far out what something's going to do, but the SPY will hit 200 in the next week. That I see. I see happening. I saw it this morning. And also, you could have gone long this market here. If you did, and the market hits 200, that was a $10 move. And many people don't understand how to really trade gas. But this was a very bullish, good gap, a quality high. We rated gap here in the SPY. They could have gone long. And if you did, you're up. And even here, people were wanting to short this market. It's so many different places. And eventually, what's going to happen is I think people will, will give up on keep shorting this, but probably not. <laughs> you know, the more strong and extended bullishly the market gets, people still can't believe it sometimes and think that it's extended and then want to do the opposite to try to make money. But the way to make money is to play with the trend and that means go long. That means go long. The answer is to go long here. You go long the market, okay? And there were plenty of opportunities to do so. There's even an opportunity this morning to do so. Aggressive, but if you saw the market was going bullish today, uh, you could have you could have bought the market in, in a setup aggressively in the morning. And you could go long here. Any setup that happens in the market today, I believe that this uptrend here holds today. Although it's late, best entry was a morning. Best entry is always a morning and a gap trade. That's why I like to trade out of the gate between 9.30 and 10. So nice extension here in the market. Target is $200 for the SPY, and it will get there sooner rather than later. 
and my call is that that happens actually this week, will be very surprising for a lot of people that thought that this market was coming in or seeing a top or was going to struggle with the bullishness. And a week ago today, I did a webinar where I talked about uh, Jim Cramer's call on Mad Money that the market was going to struggle last week with its bullish moves and struggle and were we near the highs. And I said, no, we're strong, we're higher. I've called this market extremely well. You can learn how to trade from me because I trade gaps well and I read price well. And that's why I teach a class that people are taking and coming and paying me to do because they're learning how to trade from me. Learning how to read stocks and the market in order to be able to take trades to predict moves before they happen. It, you know, it's very easy to say now that this market's higher here. Back where I was calling it, not so easy. Particularly because a lot of people weren't even calling it that way. I was one of the few people that was continually calling this market higher, and now I'm telling you it's going to hit 200. So the reality is, when I look at the gap every morning, do you see it? But I think there's a lot going on in here now, and the people that were trying to short this now, I may have given up on the shorts, but probably not everybody. People will come back in here, try to make another attempt if it closes with a topping tail or does anything where it looks like it's reached an extension. But I really think we just get right up to that $200 number. I'm not saying we have it right up there in a series of green days. We could have a rest day in between there. That's why I'm saying, you know, possibly Thursday. Um, or we could even do it in a gap. We could even do it in a gap. But there is nothing but blue skies ahead for this market here for this year. And here we're going to hit over 196 today. Look, really nice. So one of the days we're going to have a big, big, strong, stretchy green bar. I don't know when. I don't think it's today. But who knows? It could be today. 196 is the target for today, which is going to get to in 10 cents. And really, I'm just looking for the $200 number sometime in the next week. So if you learn how to trade gaps, you will not make the mistake of predicting tops and bottoms in charts for trades. You'll feel very comfortable and confident in actually taking a gap trade and actually taking something like the market long in a position in a long that you think you, you wouldn't normally do because you don't understand this. If you have a comprehension of gaps, you'll understand the power and the meaning behind this thing here. doesn't look like much, but it is very powerful, and you can see it, and all the other gaps that have happened that are good, quality, bullish gaps. And you will not have any fear, or issues, or question yourself, and you'll have conviction to take a bullish entry here. When you don't understand gaps, you're not sure what to do. And then you look at the overall trends or higher highs and higher lows and pivots, and you're looking at many, many different things that actually aren't the right things to look at. Gaps tell you what the stocks or the market's going to do in the moment that they happen. Whether the quality of the gap is poor or high, you make a determination. If it's a high-quality gap, it's bullish or bearish, you go the direction of the gap. If it's a poor-quality gap, bullish or bearish, then you just don't trade it. But it's very important to understand these gaps and how they work. It's the reason I've called the market well, and I think it just needs to do its own thing here now. Anybody that's long any core stocks here, let them ride on out. You can keep riding them on out here. All right? Get as much as you can of this market move here with this push because it's going to help everything that's strong. And there's some charts that are getting really nice lifts which I talked about in here. I mean, I talked about it in here. I said, stay with any of your core longs in here. This market's higher. It's going to make a new high. It's exactly what it did. And it's continuing to do it. Nice market rally here. Really good call by the stock swish by me, Melissa Armo, in this market. Uh, market's not struggling going higher at all. It's just rallying like a breeze. Very comfortably, very easily, with beautiful positions in it. And you just carry it on through. So we'll get up tomorrow morning, we'll look at the gap in the SPY and see where it does, and I'll look and see how it closes tonight. But $200 is the next target for the SPY. It's not the dream target. This is actually a realistic target in this market now. And I think it happens sooner rather than later. So have a great day, everyone. The next Golden Gap class is June 21st and 22nd. I added a second class this month because the price of the class is increasing as of July 1st. And some people emailed me they wanted to do it too late to sign up for this weekend. So I have pre-registrants already for the 21st and 22nd if you want to do the class uh, before the price goes up on July 1st. And actually, it's a good time to do it at the end of this month in June because earnings season starts in July. So you'll learn the information to rate the gaps uh, in the class in June to start out trading when all the earnings come out in third quarter at the beginning of July, first week of July. 
and then you can join the live trading room to be in the room with me to get the trades. So nice call here in the market. Follow it through long today. I wouldn't be in any shorts today unless something's crazy, crazy, crazy weak. And even then, I really wouldn't be in anything. Just let this market rally this afternoon and do its thing wherever it goes. It'll hit up over 196 and then wherever it closes today. Although I don't think today is the big stretch day. However, it's very early. I will say that. And anything's possible in a market that's continuing in its own direction of its own accord with lots of power. And that's what's happening here. And that's why you don't trade against it. And that's why you just, you just go with it. You go with the flow. Go with the flow of stocks in the market. This is Melissa with the StockSwoosh.com. Have a great day, everybody. If you're interested in signing up for the next Golden Gap class, out of the class for June, June 21st and 22nd, email me and Melissa at the StockSwoosh.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.